Pro Engineer Wildfire 3.0 delivers the ability to create motion skeletons to simulate an assembly's motion by sketching a selection of curves. We have defined the ground curve. These curves will form the basis of the bodies that make up the mechanism. However, contrary to the current method of mechanism definition, this new skeleton allows us to create new body components using a reference curve. As we define the motion skeleton, notice how Pro Engineer automatically understands that the mechanism joints are point joints. This process is repeated with the three other bodies. We now have a fully defined mechanism that can be validated by dragging the skeleton. Drivers can also be applied to the skeleton, providing a very quick geometry-free approach to validating and optimizing a mechanism design. Once we are happy that we achieved the desired motion, we can either use these curves to create the appropriate geometry or assemble existing components to this skeleton. In our example, we will assemble existing components. We just select the end of the part and it automatically snaps to the pin joints in our motion skeleton. We then define the constraints to lock the degrees of freedom. We repeat this process and assemble the second component. There are many benefits associated with designing and analyzing a mechanism without adding solid geometry. This top-down approach makes it easy to lay out a concept and test it. Working with lightweight representations earlier in the design process allows you to develop multiple alternatives without the overhead of geometry creation, making it quick and easy to optimize your design. Mass properties can even be assigned to the mechanism so that it is possible to simulate the dynamic forces of the mechanism. To save time, it is also possible to reuse existing motion skeletons. Intelligence has been built into these parts so the assembly process moves along smoothly and quickly.